What's going on guys and welcome to another reputized video 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 Independence Day Resurgence is a sequel to the 1996 action extravaganza once again directed by Roland Emmerich and stars Liam Hemsworth, Jeff Goldblum, Jesse T. Usher, Bill Pullman, and Maka Monroe. It had been 20 years since the alien invasion that devastated the world. Jesse T. Usher plays a grown-up Dylan Hiller and he's a pilot and he pretty much fo follows in his father's footsteps. Mankind's technology has improved since the 1996 attack. There's this unidentified spherical ship that appears from a wormhole in space that everybody thinks is a threat. But it turns out that ship is an actual enemy of the aliens. It's an actual threat and is the only one left. They go into a little bit of a story, a detail of what they were, but they don't give them a name or anything. They're the downfall to the aliens and allies to us. So she, this spherical ball, whatever it is, they give us information, but it doesn't really do anything. This one, it was still good. It just didn't capture the first one. Bill Pullman's character as the former president gave a, a terrific speech in this one, but it didn't match the first one. To me, anyway. Roland Emmerich, the direction in this movie was pretty good. It was pretty straightforward. Aliens come and attack us. But the only difference is we are more prepared, and so are they, too. Their tech has grown exponentially since the 1996 attack. It's pretty much the same as the last one, only more advanced technology. The only cast member that's really missing from this is Will Smith. And I thought it was kind of crappy the way they wrote his character out. Yeah, unfortunately, Will Smith was doing Suicide Squad at the same time they were in production with Independence Day Resurgence. Independence Day came out June 24th. Suicide Squad came out August of that same year. So Will Smith was wanting to focus all his efforts on Suicide Squad. But the way they handled his character, I thought was a little cowardly. I don't really think it explains in the movie directly, but I remember before the movie came out, they said that he died during a test flight. Really? After all the crap he's gone through in the first one, you want to do him like that in this? They couldn't have retired him on the other side of the world in Asia or whatever. Other than that, the movie, the movie was awesome. I, I, I gotta give Roland Emmerich props and the writers and the cinematography and and the music, and the music was the same as it was in the first. Thomas Wander and Harold Clouser did an amazing job. They captured that magic that the music had in the first one. All in all, Independence Day Resurgence was fair. It did not match the first one. Of course, when you make a movie like this, and it's a big hit back in the day, and you decide to make a sequel 20 years later, you know it's not going to be as good. I mean, it may be fair, but it's never going to match expectations. I'm sorry, guys. That's just, it is what it is. I'm going to give Independence Day Resurgence a B plus. Like I said, it, it's good, but it just doesn't match the first one. It doesn't capture the magic that the first one had. Stay tuned for more reviews coming soon, guys. Like, subscribe, and get reputized. Peace the rip out.